Hey y'all, I'm D. Ray White, your favorite hillbilly hippie with tie-dyed terrapin. We're a traveling uh, tie-dye shop. This is our YouTube channel. Welcome. Welcome to our home. Happy tie-dye Tuesday. Happy Halloween and Merry Christmas. I'm going to show y'all how I make these. This is just a sample of how I do tie-dye. It's a simple way to show you my process. I wash them out. I use Simple Pole SP detergent from Dharma Trading. They've been around since 1969. That's the dyes that I use. So, wash it, dry it. Put your glasses on. And your gloves. And your gloves. Thank you. My wife, my lovely wife, back there shooting the camera. We have had so many takes already. We started over, started over, started over that we're just gonna go. This is our first time. Y'all see, we, we'll get better at it. Uh, episode one, season one. So, I make my own tools and stuff most of the time because I'm a po' boy. Not really. I'm going uh, to just use these hemostats and a little tool here to pull that up. I'll go ahead and put some tape on this here. So that it's ready. trying to do is pleat this up without it collapsing on itself. No, I just took you outside. You're good. My proper cocoa. He shot a poke. Oh, cool. She's a good poke. She's a mountain feist. So. Now we can come. trying to do is keep my pleats real low or they're not tall. So 
So now what we're gonna do is get our handy dandy soda ash bag and our other ones. Shove it up in there. Sprayer, soda ash and water. I'll turn on this work light slash grow light from the last plant. A little soda ash. Smash it in there. Try to get it all soaked up. What we're gonna do is then step on them, effectively sponging that soda ash into this cotton. Heat up by this fire. <laughs> yeah, hey. Yeah, I guess so. Golly, I almost caught him on fire. <laughs> Whew, that ain't no good. Get warming it up here, boss. So we're just going to pull one out. This is my dye and urea water. Mix urea water. Urea is the a wetting agent. Uh, helps the the water and the dye marry to each other. It's kind of like cinnamon. wants to float on top of water with a surface tension like a bug. Urea breaks that down and helps it marry. So these are my colors. I'm just gonna go with a standard rainbow. Simple. Yes, I'm always this messy. Okay. So I just normally put it right on, you know, an old work shirt. Oh, my wife made this one for me. I love it. I love it. Uh, so what I like to do is imagine. You want to cut it three times. You want to make one line right through the center. And what I like to do is find the thickest side and go right down the center. And that way you know and then you want to make an X on that center. Make an X. Mark the underside. All right. There we go. Flip it over. Now, what you want to do is go where your places are. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. Okay. You want to go halfway in between those marks. We'll pick a different color just to help you visually reference that. Go halfway in between them. I think it's a really nice visual effect. Okay. Now, 
I think I'm going to trim that because that's going to make some problems. So I'll just trim it off. Turn. See how that works. Oop. Pretty good. The other side looks real good. All right, here we go. What I'd like to do, start with this red. And it gets clogged up real easy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try to get the center. Oh, I gotta get the tears back on. What I'm trying to do is just go easy in the center to keep it from spreading too fast. So some of these colors really like to spread. Each one of them has its own kind of personality. It's weird. But it's the only way I know how to explain it. Uh, yellow seems to get pushed around by everybody. while they use that analogy. Are you yellow? So green's kind of like yellow. It's pretty runny too. Orange is pretty runny. Blue is just, it crawls all over everything. And purple colors both red and blue, of course. But it's really weird getting used to, uh, getting used to working with this material I'm going on just to cut it in uh, cut it so I'm just going to fill in the rest of the way So there's one side done. Just flip it over. And so I know green is here. So I can go green here or green here. I'm going to choose to go green here. So that makes yellow here. Right, 
And these oranges over here. So what I want to do is put it down here. And again, I'm gonna step on it. Make sure it's fully saturated. And then all those colors are blended well. All right, so I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Hope y'all got to go to the bathroom, get your drink. Whatever you need to do. Pie for one thoroughly enjoyed that break. I got it fresh out of the batch. Hyping hot. Okay, it got hot enough. Ooh. Me one more time. My fine scissors. This is known as Hippie Christmas, the reveal.
bit of steam coming off of it. <laughs> I'll stick around, we'll be right back. So, just come out of the wash. Cool. Over here. Hmm. Lost my Bluetooth. We have technical failure. Okay. Technical failure fixed. So, and here it is all dried out. Hope y'all enjoyed this hippie Christmas. Thank y'all for watching. Hey, go to tiedyetherapy.com, click on the store, you can order yours, and we can personalize it for you. Y'all, thanks for watching, and uh, and come back next week. We're going to do it again. Have another hippie Christmas on Tide-Eye Tuesday. Peace, y'all.